there will be a bright tomorrow. That glorious day. Out 
and touch a place on the inside that no human could ever touch. And Lord, you can take me and mold me and make me wanna give up, but I never wanna give up. Oh Lord, please speak to me. Cause I can't belong to hear from you, from your throne up above. Let me see your glory that I've been longing for, that my soul can never get enough. Oh, the glory of Jesus shines brighter and brighter. Yes, Lord, the closer I get, the more I see. Your people know you like Moses as they went to the wilderness of sin. Lord, keep us holy and our mind stay on you so your glory can shine deep within. Oh Lord, make us able to always recognize you. Keep us free from all weights and sin. Just show us your glory like you did in the temple. Cause the temple it is truly within all the glory of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Shines brighter and brighter. The glory of Jesus. The closer I get, the more I see. The glory of our soul.
Let your 
morning. Bless us today, dear Father, we pray. While we leave everything into your hands and into your care, you take over this time while I take times. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Let's worship the Lord. Let's worship the Lord. As we continue to stand, we are going to be singing the opening hymn. I serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. I know that he is living, no matter what men may say. I see his hands of mercy. I hear his voice of cheer. And just the time I need him, he's always near. I serve a risen Savior. He's in the world.
wonder why we who serve him and serve him in spirit and in truth will tell you that God is our refuge and our strength, a pleasant help in time of trouble. Our God is always there. And he said that he'll never leave us, nor forsake us. He said he'll always be there with us. Amen. And so this morning I I introduce those who have not known the God of my salvation that He is alive and He's well. Amen? Amen. Let's worship the Lord. Let's worship the Lord. Let's worship the Lord. Okay, and so my brothers and sisters and friends as we move through the program today as i said we are christian people here and so if you hear us praising the lord don't feel any way and so we are going to be having the first lesson selection and the second lesson so they will come in this order as i call the name you are not going to hear me until we reach the tributes so the first lesson will be read by Ruel Law, Matthew, Selection, Yashida Green, I hope you this in the right thing. And the second lesson will be done by Eileen Robert, close friend. And I want you to come in that order, please. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. First lesson was taken from Revelation 21, verse 1 to 7. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also, there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Then who sat on the throne said, Behold, I made, I made all things new. And he said to me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give up the fountain of the water of life freely to him who thirst. He who overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his son. I will be his God and he shall be my son. These are the words of the God. Amen. Thank you. 
for as much as we know that your labor is not in pain in the Lord. Here in the reading of God's holy word. Bless the Lord. Let's worship the Lord. children then grow. I mean, I see my son. I mean, I see my daughter. You understand? Yes. And that is why I am saying, my brothers and sisters, life is precious. Amen. So it behoves you. And I want to tell you that it is precious now and even after. Some people think about the life here now, you know. But Paul said it because in this life only you are poor. And some of you really miserable, you know. Yeah. Truly, some of you miserable back. But I am telling that there is a life beyond this life. Yeah. There is a song like no more sickness, no more pain, no more crying, no more partying over there. All it will be good and a happy golden shore. So life, don't take it for granted. Live your life and live it well. And guess what I tell you? Everybody we you never see today, go look for them tomorrow. I'll call them. Because they don't know when the world is going to go out for anybody at all. Amen? Amen. And so we are going to go into our tributes. And so we have five stocks here. Please, you see a little notation about the two minutes. The three minutes is for those who are here and the two minutes is for the two the open tribute that I'm going to give you. And you must understand why I am saying you have to put so many. Because Virgin we are supposed to be with us here at 12 o'clock because of circumstances. Yeah? Yes. Alright, so please adhere to it because I will take the mic. <laughs> Alright. And so the children's goes like this. The first one is Winston, brother. Then we have Lisa, daughter. Number three is Royal. Number four, we are gonna be having video tributes. So many of them we have in. Four of them. Tell very them short, online. Very short, very short. All right, thank you. And then number five, we have two open tributes of two minutes each. So you won't hear me again. Just go as it is in your program. And so the first one is Winston. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Greetings to the pastor, the ministers, and greetings to each and every one of you. Yes. My dear brother, in your eyes. He's no longer here. Leroy was my mentor. He was my guide in life. There was four brothers of us when I grew up in New York. Remember when I was about five years old, my mother said, Leroy, we were going to school. She gave them instruction and said, guide me, protect me. We have to walk about a mile to that little school. Thank God there wasn't a lot of people in the road in those days. Maybe we'll be alive. 
the president who the ginger organization here, you family that are here, they are skinny, high, and long braids. And I got a cross that bridge to go to that school. My mother would fix up all the sandwich and we get a good um, um, uh, slate with, 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 with uh, uh, a chart in it. I don't see any from the that. Now, when I reached the bridge, I refused to cross that bridge. My brother Leroy would say, come on brother, come on, brother. let's go. I was a slave. He said, he's going to take it and cross the bridge. Remember, he's three older than I. He kneeled down and asked him to climb up on his back to take him across the bridge. Halfway on the bridge, I've been sliding off his back. So I went down on my feet and I was crying. So you would cover my face because I, I'm afraid of the bridge. That I don't see over the side of the bridge. And if you do that for a couple of times, eventually we get across the bridge. After school over, you have to come across again. It's the same thing going on and on. Eventually, I gained confidence because my brother Leroy was there to help me. Unfortunately, our mother took sick. I went for this. She had to send me right to the farm. And it was like, I don't know. I love my brother. And so a couple of years later, we rejoined one another. And then they let our mother die. That epilepsy killed her. She got burned up in the fire. So it was just up like that. So we keep on trying to cheer one another on. Eventually, I get a chance to go to Kingston, go to the construction company. And the first thing is on my mind is to bring me Leroy. Yes, he came. And Leroy adventure out in the same time. And I was a big star. We haven't seen each other for a couple of years. And finally we link up again. And when we link up, we will do the brownies. Brownies. <laughs> Not only have the same things, because I have <laughs> And I threw the light on. And it stick with me. And it helped me to become who I am today. You are. You are. Very kind. Love it. You never hear you are with his voice at no time at all. But when he got sick, and I speak with him for a couple of hours, I spend two hours on the phone, and I say, you know, you have to accept the Lord to be present in the person I feel you. I get it. I mean, I get a chance to lead him to the Lord. And I thank God that he gave me the opportunity. And that's my few words. I just want to say, there's so many families and friends in Santa Mons, in the Walker family, that have held a cross along the way. Some are in the States right now, the Walker family. I have my nieces that are in New York, in Canada, and all over the so, world. Uh, we appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.
You know you're on Slender Road. Thank you. 
Shire. Mike Mutes again. Can you hear me? Can you hear me in the church? I know you can hear me online. Can you hear me in the church? Okay. Dads are someone to look up to. Follow, admire, be proud of. Learn from, to respect. Listen to, talk to, but most of all, my dad was someone to brag about. I never had to rebel against him. I could always talk to him and share everything this wonderful life had to offer. He did not bring me into this world, but he sure did prepare me for it. Welcome family and friends, and thank you for attending today. We gather today to celebrate life, not to mourn the passing of my beloved dad and a great man, Leroy George Campbell. I bring greetings from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to the church of the pastor. My name is David, Mas Leroy. I get into his life from 1982. Called his son. Another friend called him his son. Then Wayne. He said, Father, to me, go with me. Then we were in the end here. When I spoke to him the last time, he said, Do you want to see it before? I told him, when I come to Jolie Harvard, But this man is one of the best father you could ever have. He's loving, clearing, teach me everything in life. Face. When he was going to get his beautiful wife, tell me if I had a nice girl. He's going to marry her. When I met her, I said, Wow, she's free. She's not only free outside, but also inside. And he said, Yes, ma'am. I'm here today. I feel down on Friday just to be here. I said, I have to be here. I said, I just, I just want to give you a little snap because the time is short. That this man, I have to be here. I must, it's a must. And thank you all for coming, for sharing this moment. And remembering his past meeting with Leroy. I call him Mar Leroy. That's my father. Thank you very much for coming with us. Hello, my children. Nobody has to do say something.
trip my we call it you know, my sister, we are the brothers, all of those girls down here and he says, Leroy is wonderful. Leroy never say movie. He did not ever say that to any of us. Open arms, see my Leroy, you take her wonderful way. Sister Leroy will be always and we will always be a boy. Love you, Abba Kuzi. I'm ready. <laughs> Are you ready, Bobby? Bobby, are you ready? I'm ready. Dads are someone to look up to. Follow, admire, be proud of. Learn from, to respect, listen to, talk to, but most of all, my dad and something about him that touched your life. My dad is my hero. No matter what, he always made time for the people he cared about. And she was that family always comes first. Anyone who knew him knew how proud he was of his loved ones, especially me and Uncle Lucas. I can remember as young as two years old when my mom tried to give me medicine. That was an epic failure. But he would make it with ease. I would take it with ease. It was the same when it was time to take medicine. He would take my favorite tea, my, and I would drink it with ease. I remember. At the tender age of four, on September 8, 1988, if you all old enough to remember what happened, Hurricane Gilbert blew. He was working with a person company and their company 
before him to go to work. Of course, there were no phones at that time. Our only the rich and famous had phones. We told my mom, he hid under the bed and said to my mom, tell them I am not here. No one gave me the message, but I ran to the door. Him said to tell him, I'm not there. He said, baby, where is he? Him under the bed. Of course, he has to go to work on Gilbert. <laughs> I never forget. Our regard. <laughs> I, I will never forget, but I will always regret delivering that message. It made me so sad. Many times he would cook shrimp, crawfish, and crab, aka crumbs, for me and my mom. I was afraid of crab. He never ate any shellfish, but he would always prepare it for us, and it was the most delicious meals ever. When mom would try to beat me for misbehaving, and I was very mischievous because I know I had his backing, she would try to slap me, and he would take me, put me on his back, and run. Sometimes, the belt will hit him instead of me. But as soon as I'm safe in his arms, I will look at my mom and stop my tongue out or make monkey face because she can't get me and he won't let her hit me. <laughs> he made me swing. He took me to ride bicycles. He brought me to cane fields. He would take me to school on bicycle at 5.30 in the morning, Monday to Friday, waking me up to funky town and techno songs. I was never late to school, nor was I absent. I was a bright spark and a straight A student and disciplined. I had the best iron uniform and the cleanest shoes all day, every day. Oh, how can I forget? He even cleans my shoes when I'm asleep. When I'm sleeping, he sneaks and cleans my shoes because he knows if I'm awake, I'll tell him not to. I cannot forget. He came to my home in Montego Bay, and while we were sleeping, he went outside to weed the, the yard. I said, no, I pay somebody to do that. You are here to relax. But that's how he showed me how he loved and he cared for me. We would watch movies together. My mom would sleep and go enjoy whether it's cartoons or karate shows or action movies. On Sunday, we dance, yeah, and rock steady. He taught me how to walk and slow dance by standing on his own feet. I am wise beyond my years because I have learned and adopt so much from him. He always told me how proud he was of me, especially when he made my life. He loved me. All the things I was doing and sent for him, but he missed me. We would be there for several days per week, especially on weekends. And on days when we had something to laugh about, mom, we were always a team. Mom would often say she doesn't have a child because I belong to him and he belongs to me. He never called me a nickname. He called me good. Gina, my darling, sweetheart. The one name my mom tried to call me, Boo. He said, no, don't call her that. That's the name of a dog. <laughs> so that, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to remember you for exactly that and so much more. And I'm going to miss you more than anything or anyone in this world. I will miss your sincerity. Your decency. Thank you. Thank you. the blessing of knowing and loving you and loving you a great and noble man. The best father a daughter could ever, ever had. Life is short and oftentimes brutal, but I've learned to combat that with a good laugh and appreciating the small moments despite any circumstance.
that you care, your care, character, love, patience, understanding, and amazing sense of humor will live on inside me. You've given me the gift of wisdom and understanding, and there are more precious than anything in this world. This is not goodbye, Dad, because we shall meet again. You are in my heart always. I love you. I appreciate you all for coming out to celebrate the, the life of my dad, Leroy George Campbell, and for affording me the opportunity to tell you a bit about him. I know he would be honored to see how many years enough to attend. May God, may the good Lord bless you, keep with you, and keep and be you. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, everyone. You okay. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I'm record this record to um to Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I'm record this record to um to 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 Leroy which is my friend know that him pass away. And Lilia, um, I'm, so, I'm so sorry to know that Leroy gone, because God know what him do. God is the best. And God, God don't give him more than what we can bear. God take him out and pain and his problem when I got you and him sickness when I got you. And now him into a better place more than me and you right now. The difference is on one know well him soul rest and rest in peace. And you know, let us who are alive right now, let us serve God and live live for God. Don't live for nothing else besides live with God because you know so the time I come with all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I'm record this record to um to 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 Leroy, which is my friend know that him pass away. And Lilia. Um, I'm so I'm so sorry to know that Leroy gone because God know what him do. God is the best, and God God don't give him more than what we can bear. God take him out and pain and his problem when I got you and him sickness when I got you, and now him into a better place more than me and you right now. The difference is on one know well him soul rest and rest in peace, and you know let us who are alive right now let us serve God and live. Live for God. Don't live for nothing else besides live with God. Because you know, so the time I come where all of us going to leave this world and go go meet with our, our maker. Leroy was my personal friend. We meet and we 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 was a we meet for me in the seventies in the Bible days when Bible a, a kick up. That's what we that's what me and Leroy you the rest back in them time there. We never cuss. We never quarrel. We never fight. We never fuss. We just friends. We drink together. We eat together, but the only thing we don't smoke together because we don't smoke. You understand? Trust me. And believe you me, when me is in past, me, trust me, it is like a burden for me up to this blessed day. And to the family, I wish you know the best and just hold it down and just move on because you know, say, life is over death. You understand? And I know, say, you know, feel it away. But my condolence to, to the family. To know that Lira is my good friend and him pass away. So I ask everyone, family and friends, just keep it up. Just keep it up. And just be strong. Be good. Be faithful. And know that one day to come, we all going to meet at the judgment seat. God bless you all.
אין לו ונועל. Yeah. At this time, we'll be hearing from our church choir at this time. Bless the Lord.
you will give your offering to the cause of God. Bless the Lord. The song is the Lord's my shepherd. Let us sing to the glory to the attitude of the happy wanderer. The Lord my shepherd and God one. He makes me love to love. lives you know he was very humble and kind I remember he was always welcoming to me and my sister always as kids giving us what we want but mostly even in my adult age I remember the last time I went to look for him you know he never left without bags of anything anything that's going on the tree anything he can find he will go out of his way to get it for you so you go back to Kingston with, with full bags so <laughs> you will definitely definitely be missed and I pray your soul will rest in peace good night hey good evening guys or afternoon first of all i'd just like to apologize that i could not be at the funeral you know true works and situation but i'd like to send condolence to the family lisa's sister auntie and mr leroy Lear, mr leroy was a uncle to me you know while growing up not a blood relative but he was more relative more than even my own family so he shall be missed and i just like to say condolences to the family again you do have support and i hope god guide you and protect you and keep you guys strong again mr leroy you will be missed from the entire family uh, again i'm so hurt that i could not be able to make it but you're always in our heart always in our mind i just like to say we truly appreciate you while you are here with us and we do love you. I'll always remember you. So thank you. You shall be missed.
the Lord. Amen to our pastor and all the ministers of this church. Eulogy for the UR camp. We can shed tears because he's gone. Or smile because he lived. We can close our eyes and pray that he will come back. But today, we choose to open our eyes and see all the beautiful memories he has left us. So again, a pleasant morning to you all. I'm Marion. That's my husband, Winston, there. And my beautiful sister, in law Leila. I've known him for over half of his life. And I've never had a dull or disappointing moment with him. It's never easy to say goodbye to someone who has been a part of our lives. When that person is gone, there is a hole where he used to be in our lives. That's what many of us are feeling today. That whole emptiness and gap. On Sunday, December 3rd, 2023, our dear brother Leroy passed away peacefully at home. In Bottom Banbury, District St. Catherine. He was a loving, caring, thoughtful, humble, kind, adorable husband, father, brother, uncle, friend. He was sent to six years of age. God gave him six about. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he was born in Dalby St. Thomas to Doris Blake and Mr. Campbell, a policeman. He was the third of four sons, Keith Noel and Winston, who he loved and cherished so much. As a young boy, he attended St. Thomas School, known to be very adventurous and curious. You know what they say about policemen kids. His youngest brother Winston, my husband, always reminded us of how utterly adventurous Leroy was. But he but we knew he meant that he gave a lot of typical boys trouble. He enjoyed dancing ska, rock steady, and of course watching cricket, his movies on video and TV, cooking especially shellfish for his beautiful wife and daughter, even though he does not eat shellfish. As a young man, he left home in search for a better life and ultimately met means of survival, a job. Little did he know that he was going to find the love of his life, Lila, and his precious daughter, Lisa. He would have given his all and protected them with his life. He worked at Dalsky Security Company and also worked as a watchman in Orange Field of McCornell, known as True Juice Nest of Limited. He went into the agricultural field and worked for a Jamaica Sugar Company in Innswood and Bernard Lodge. He worked as a foreman for many years and did constant schooling to improve himself and his crafts. Based on his agricultural knowledge, he became a passionate he became passionate about farming and did so in his retired years. And of course, fed the community. Because that's what he is. Our loved brother was generally a quite soft spoken person, but people always gravitated to him because of his warm, kind, welcoming nature. Amongst his most memorable traits are being honest, kind-hearted, humble, a great listener, compassionate. He always seeks to meet, make peace unless there's a direct threat to his family. A hard worker and a family man, he was also, he also provided for many other families, especially if there's kids involved. He loved kids. It was hard not to love and accept him as a person. He was so warm and receptive to others. 
Leroy was loved and knew many people, but he was a loner. All he needed was a movie a couple years ago, he smoked, and his music. And he was, then he was in his zone. You could often find him riding his bicycle, whether to or from work or just to shop or chill a bit. It's hard to say goodbye to anyone, let alone someone who had a huge impact on our lives. It's always hard to lose someone you know. So let, to let go of him and move on. If we keep those memories in our heart and mind, we can find comfort knowing that he'll always be with us. Just being here today is showing us that our love, beloved brother had an impact on, on your lives. And I pray that will be a great comfort to you. But before I end this eulogy, I want to let you know that Leroy, although he's alone, my husband and I shared the gospel with him. And he accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as his, as his Savior. So I know he's home with the Lord. But yes, he fell off the wagon a couple of times. But Romans 6.23 says we all have fallen short. But he had a repentant heart. And when you have a repentant heart, that's what God wants. He wants to know that you love him and you quickly to repent. So that's why I know my brother is in heaven with the Lord. So today, I just want to thank you all for being here. I just want to leave this with my sister and the family, all the friends here, that Isaiah 43 says, Fear not, because I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. He's calling you by name. When you feel the pain of losing, Winston, when you feel, Roy, when you feel, it's fun here, when you feel, many of you, when you feel that, remember, God is calling you by name and he has called Leroy by name. And when you go down to 1 Corinthians 1, 3, 4, he says, bless the Lord and Father, our Lord, Jesus Christ, Father of mercies and the God of comfort who comfort us all in every tribulation. So, be comforted. And I just want to tell you thanks for being here today. And if everyone on video, my children, grandchildren, they say to tell you, Uncle Leroy, Uncle Leroy, we love him. We all love this man dearly. And I give you. We just can just raise our hands for our program so that we know he's here in spirit with us, but he's at a better place. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We will be having the message after the message, the prayer for the family. And then the instruction, and I'll be asking the family member to be seated and the other members to stand. At this time, I'll present to you our pastor, Pastor Curtis Ronston. Let's worship the Lord. Let's worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. And it was said just a few minutes ago we are at a Thanksgiving service, not you? Amen. Yeah, we are, we are giving God thanks for 70 of us. 76 years. Three scores and ten. How much is that? Seventeen. All right. And by by, by virtue of your your service, you get. You get two of us. 
So Lira has done his quota and God gave him even more. So today we want to celebrate. And I'm not going to tell you not to cry, you know, because you know, good not to cry, you know. But guess what? They can ball and celebrate. See? You know, some people, when both when the race so out, tears of joy run. When many tears of joy run to be right to them. Not sure. Bless the Lord. Yes. I want to speak to you short about having hope. Hope. H-O-P-E. -E. Very short word. But you know there are a lot of people who don't have any hope. They don't see themselves going anywhere. As the Bible said, if it was in this life, go on the way of hope. Miserable. When we think of all the sleepless nights where some people have to come, some people live at some place where they're going to bark seven days a week and it bark 24 hours per day. I don't want to go into the seconds. There are some people here, they don't chat every second. When you think of it, that the children, you have a young little daughter, and you cannot leave them one second to nobody at all because family has become the perpetrators. Yeah. As a matter of fact, as a minister, sometimes I hide. Because when you say some things up there, you must say, I'm pastor, do it. Me cringe. Because I say, Lord God, and then things are in a in too. You don't know who to trust. And that makes you feel hopeless. That makes you feel like you're going nowhere. That makes you feel like, boy, I know I'm driving out the road, but what happened? The amount of accidents that happen. You want this, you want to drive. But guess what? I am telling that there is hope. Yes. Paul said it was in this life only we have that hope. We are miserable. Yes. But Paul knew about the life after this life. Yes. Each time I officiate a funeral service, he gave me cause to reflect on life. Because you know, I never used to love as a boy growing up in the year first upon my wrong eye. He just never liked the dead thing. But it so happened that guess what? My father died and I'm going to look for him because he's so afraid. And he wasn't a boy at that time, he was a big man of family. But he just couldn't bear to look at the body. And he's not like death. And he said, death wicked, death bad, death cruel, death take away the loveliest of things that you ever think about. But you know, when he faced me, when I have to stand up here and I really sometimes I'm going to have a casket and guess what? I have to look. And then he turns to me to say, but guess what? Then that life is the same thing, you know. If you have a coin, and then have head and tail. Head is on one side and tail is on the other side. So I said, well, never worry myself, but if you live, you must dead. It is an appointment. Stop fooling yourselves. It will come, but you don't know where. And that is why you need to have hope to say, Chop me up and they do a man of evil. They get the plane to crush on me. There is a life after this life. That is why sometimes my brothers and sisters, when I say what is this, that experience of consciousness, realization, or awareness that I exist. Who am I? Why am I here? Then too, I said, what is death? There is anything there. Is there anything there and death? What could it be? Is there any hope beyond this life that we are living in? Guess what? I and I cannot answer those questions. No person can. However, believers do have a special hope that brings comfort. You hear what we say? We never say everybody. I start to categorize my feet. If, 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 if you feel bad, I know my father. I know my father. I know my sister. The Bible says, believers, believers have a special hope. Think about it. You might not believe in my Bible, but I believe in my Bible because guess what? Nancy Jew, Ali Boy, the whole of them, the bone of them, God, and God, not true. But the Bible continues. Amen. They burn it, but the Bible is still alive. Amen. They stop writing it, but the Bible is still alive. Yeah. It's one book that stands up forever and ever and ever. So guess what? If you want to tell me something like that, tell like or tell me something, you need to prove it. Is there a God? Yeah. Yeah. 
Hey, yeah, that might be a monkey or a donkey. But my God is a king of kings. The Lord of Lords. The conqueror is Lamb of the child of Judah. Yes, your God might be dead because he is in a city. Your God might be dead because Bob Marley did. Your God might be dead because Confucius did. Your God might be dead because Mohammed did. But Jesus Christ, the Son of the true and living God, he is alive. Every day somebody tells you something they find say the Bible is true. Because they have a thing in carbon copy which is not lie. You have some men who are going to the bush and they must seek out everything. And every year they hear somebody say, oh, true, you know, Jesus Christ was the true, you know. Some people say it's a big bang and the earth came into being. Some people say, why well, we start from monkey? So we're gonna transit from monkey and we're gonna go to something else. Why man we're gonna turn something else? And then say we come from monkey. A monkey still exists among us. I can put a monkey in a cage, he will never get a human being. So me no monkey. I am a child of God. I was made in his own image in his likeness. That's why I know that I serve a risen Savior. He's in this world today. I know that he is living. I don't visit what the rest of my mom said. I don't visit what Mohammed wants to say. But my God is alive. And that's why I know I have hope, you know. When the Bible speaks of hope, it's not hope. It is not hope. Far hope. Like you want to pay your bills. You hope to pay your bills. But guess what? You don't get no pay yet. So the bill must pay, you know. Mm -hmm. We have a hope that so it might pay. No, that is not the hope I am talking about. The hope is that Christ is certain guaranteed. Honestly, let me read something for you. In 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 to 18, he says, But we do not want to be for you to be uninformed. Preaching our friends here today. About those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as the rest of people do. Some people, their family, they are just a bar. They bar to them bar the whole year. And I don't miss them, miss them. Some of them are one of the last guys down ahead. Some of them are saying, Lord, we're not going to see him again. But guess what? We don't want it to be like that. Because, you know, something where you my Bible, where my Bible tells me, say, if when we ride go and graveyard today, and somebody got very pants up and I'm an old raster man who is of course bad around kill people and him then give him life to Jesus. When the chump of God so move and cast the thing I'm open for us. You think of the mask raster man pants up? No graves cannot hold this body down. And so when the chump of God so something ever happened. The man of God will stand still and because you're a child of God and you let down a bottom there and you until the coming of the Lord shall not precede those who have fallen asleep. So if you are fall asleep on the trumpet zone, you might wake up before me. He must not need to some reading from the Bible. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a show, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, the dead in Christ shall rise first. That is why I'm a child of God. Me used to worry about me not worry about death again because guess what? You have to die to get that type of life. Amen. Hey, some people have to die for Jamaica to be what it is today, not you? Yes. This part will never die probably. You and I will be still slaves. Yes. George William God never died, they never hung in you and I will still be slaves. But somebody will have to die. And guess what? As a child of God, you don't worry about death. Death is just a part of the wheel. As a child of God, you must die to get into the new life. And if Jesus ever come before you die, 
who did this a part of life, my brothers and sisters. He said, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, the voice of the archangel, and the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the year. There is hope in King Jesus. You know, I know what I'm telling you, go and look for it today. I want to say something to you that guess what? Some people they don't have no hope of your despair them out. Let us not worry. Because when I see the Christians start moving them, I wonder. Sometimes they sit down and I see the Christian move. And they say, oh, not never trouble me. Not trouble me. Yes, the Bible said we are in this world, but not of this world. We are pilgrim and we are strangers. We are thinking of a city to come. No, I'm not going to tell you a second chance I'm not going to come on your dwelling. I'm not going to tell you a second sick. But it's going to come. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Not true. And so if your life has to be taken by a gun and just say, God, but guess what? If you have hope, you don't really worry about it. Life just gone. The Bible tells us that there were two men. One of them was rich. And one of them was poor. We're talking about hope and despair. Yes. When you have hope, you don't worry. But when you have despair, you're not trouble. Yes. And the Bible said one of the man, the rich man, he used to put on some nice purple linen, you know, and then sit down and then eat his finest food. See, the table always look fat. And guess what? There was a poor man, they call him Lazarus. Yes. And Lazarus always go by the rich man door and go sit down and say, Why? We wish we could have get some of them fine food there. And when the man box off the bone off and kill and the dog catch it, Lazarus say, Could not that be me? Yes. Because when he bite that bone, I hold it for me, it's still leave on the bone. Yes. But something happened. Some people feel so they're not nah, dead. Yes. So then, cause you and they tell them anything come of them mouth. Yes. And when you tell them both, Jesus, their Christ, they say, Who is Jesus? Yes. Ah, but I want to tell you something that Jesus is Jesus. Yes. Jesus is the King of Kings. Yes. Jesus is the Lord of Lords. Yes. Jesus is the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. Jesus is the I am. Jesus is the yesterday. Man. So I'm in 
himself in a place where it was discomfort. Uncomfortable. Yes, uh, you know, I have fire for your comfort, baby. You know. awesome. uh, no peace of mind. Okay. The only thing you can think about when you put the food when you think, huh? The Bible said when the rich man look up and he say, Who that? Yeah. I want to the story, story boy I do up this. Make that money. The money can buy a passage to Jesus. So, yeah. and so he come to him say this and said, God, God, I just never made that a good life. Only rich man has a hand rich up this one. No, he can't buy Jesus. And when he can't buy a politician friend, because when them are bad, then big campaign, I have enough money, you can't buy a politician. Yeah. Yes, you have millions of dollars, you can't buy a politician because you want money. Because though, you don't buy people to do what you I know poor people who are not politics, but don't politician. And it's a teacher, but it's about then you can't hold my money because you can't have to buy it for it. And then be so bad and wicked. Tell so much lie. And then you can't go straight. But for me, Jesus straight up. You can't buy it because Jesus is all different. So the rich man said, Oh, I am kind of thirsty. But what about Abraham? Sin. Lazarus, make him take his sort of thing like my water. He has to have a light. He has to have a light. He has to have a light. For me, test it! He was a cry from the place. Abraham said, No, nothing with the thing that you have to do in a water for your face. You know, the place is a God. So when you become a child of God, you know, you know, fence around you. The devil of the access in can touch you. Because my father is the king of kings. Nobody can just touch me, so. So God begins the day you ask Jesus into your life. Yes. You say, yes. say God, Father, you know, I'm going to tell you something. Tell me, brother, my sister, then. Send, 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 send Lazarus. Then you go tell me, brother, my sister, then. Say, come on, you're nice. Father, yes. you know, I'm saying, you know, Lazarus, you come down then. Yes. Come to pastor, I'll stand. Yes. Pastor has and they have to tell you to the set. Give Jesus Christ your life. The Bible said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Hey, we start preach death. I will start preach hell. We are preach prosperity. But why get the world for money and things like money can't tell about it? Tell them start there because they are lying in the tail, not the gospel. Then listen, if you come here, you're gonna have to sow the seed and come and say, Oh, I saw the seed and I mean this. You don't have to. Sow the seed in Jesus Christ. Yes. Sow the seed in Jesus Christ. We are right. Because God has got to do anything. Yes. So this morning, we want to thank God for me, right? And I want to thank God that you are giving this opportunity yes. to say to somebody who has no hope that there is hope in Jesus Christ. Yes. We're not working at army anymore. We're not working at police force because people just have to accept. We're not working at politicians then. No. As a matter of fact, some people are not working at some of them because some of them are just going to be I did not preach your Bible set. No. But I tell you up front the Bible set. You must give your life to Jesus. He said, no, give your life to Jesus. You are going to die. But Pastor, all of it must stay. But I am saying there is a life after death. Amen. Let me tell you about your promotion. There is a life after this. I am telling you that you are going to hear the part from me. I know you not. So let's take the life of Jesus. Are you here today? You know, I have to give you Jesus Christ your life. I am saying today, give your life to Jesus Christ. It's better you give your life and when you go, my life is not better after this life. 
do, but in a nice field of your life. Mm -hmm. And when you reach, you go here. And here is a there is a life, but they never prepare. Yes. They never prepare from now. Nothing now happens they prepare now. Give your life to Jesus. Turn over and preach. Yes. Maybe I hear some nice talk. You want to see me right again? You and I can sit up here and speculate. Because some people say, Why do you think I'm going to be right again? I'm not going nowhere. God tell you lie. The thief said to Jesus, Lord, today. Yeah. Yeah. Today, Lord. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. No, no, we can't speculate to God. No, no, we don't know where he rises to God. Yeah. The thief said, Lord, we love you and we want to be with you. Jesus said, Today, with me, you are in. Stop speculating and give your life to Jesus. Let's worship the Lord. Let's worship the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Stop speculating. Turn it over to Jesus. So. We are going to be having a prayer for the family. The family will sit and the remainder of the church will stand and speak and spend the no pray that prayer for the bereaved your great name. We honor you today. You are an awesome God. You are a sovereign God and you are our glory and the lifter up of our head. We thank you Lord for giving us the privilege to go through with this four-point service for Mr. Leroy Campbell. Oh God, I am here this morning calling unto you on behalf of the bereaved family. Oh God, help them today that they will not grieve as if there is no hope. Because we have just heard in the word that there is hope in King Jesus and there is hope in the Lord. And help them to rest assured upon the hope that is in you. I pray, Lord, for a strengthening touch. I pray, oh God, that words of consolation will hit their spirit and they will lean heavily on you and we ask you, Lord, to be their refuge and their strength. Touch them individually, Lord, and collectively. I pray for a special touch over on your daughter, Sister Campbell. Oh God, I pray that you wrap her in your loving arms. I pray that you strengthen her, Lord. Keep her as the apple of thine eye. Help her to run in you, oh God, knowing that it is in you that we move and uh, live and have our being. And so this morning I pray, oh God, that you touch the great family. And as we are about to leave here, help us not to go wandering, but looking unto you, knowing that you are the author and the finisher. Oh God, touch your people. Oh God, touch the great family right now, Lord. Give them another touch as we tell you thanks for everything. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Bless the Lord. Let's worship the Lord. Let's not give any secrets to us as few seconds. But we're going to believe in the instructions. So when the recession and the news starts after the first verse, the pastor and the ministers and the platform here will go home, followed by the casket. Then after the casket, the family goes behind the casket and then everybody else. We leave here, we go to Shedway Cemetery. And after we leave Shedway Cemetery, we go back to the house in Lower, Lower Pambury. And if you don't know where Lower Pambury is, if you go to Lindsay, once you cross over by the highway, Lower Pambury is on your right hand side, Upper Pambury, uh, and the next Pambury carry you down the road. So as you reach the intersection, the house is on the right at the intersection. So right here, the repass with the deer is past the And so I want to thank you for being a very nice 
the wonderful audience. I do ask that if you can make it to the grave, I'll just go there and finish in style. And so we'll be singing the, the, the sessional hymn. Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away. To a home on God's celestial shore, I'll fly away. Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away. To a home on God's celestial shore, I'll fly away. Oh, I'll fly away. until the day he died. He's such a hard worker. He, this man works so hard. He has never stopped working and I know that when he started to get sick and can't able to work anymore, it took a toll on him because he's used to working so hard. If you know him, you know that he loves his family. He loves his wife and he loves Butch, as you as you would call Malaysia. It is so sad to lose a loved one, someone that you know will no longer be around to let you laugh, to let you feel 
as if you know you're doing something good because if you're doing something good he's gonna let you know that listen i am proud of you he welcomed me and i thank him so much i normally tell him when he's alive because i don't wait until persons are dead we have to give them their roses so it was sad for me it has been sad for me losing him you know and i have not seen him in a couple of years because i moved to montego bay and he was in st catherine but i would call and i would ask about him uncle you i know you can't hear me but thank you thank you for molding me you're one of the reasons i am the woman i am today <laughs> very very sad God is with you and you will forever. So try to slide Eh? Let's slide Yeah, I eat next. Keep you in this gift school. God bless you. Extension flow, right? You're not sure it out. Oh, I'm not sure. Okay, baby. I have no more money. Okay. Yeah, so let's not come on here. That's how I can get you. Yeah. Then I'll update the music. Seems like yesterday we should rock the show. I laced the track and blocked the flow. So I'm hanging on the block of dough. Notorious day. I'm not in a gas that. Like they ain't always been seen to be. Working in a restaurant, you ain't going to know you're gone. We still a team. Through your family, I fulfill your dreams. In the future, can't wait to see if you open up the gates for me. Reminisce sometime. The night they took my friend. Try to black it out, but it plays again. When it's real, feeling's hard to conceal. Can't imagine all the pain I feel. Give anything to hear half your breath. I know you're still living your life after death.
Now you know. Yeah, man, see me. Until we reach long there.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so, so we are the better for us to sing and to help you and get out of here. And so we're gonna sing this song in the program. First song on the jail side, it says, Sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing his mercy and his grace. In this mansion, bright and blessed, he'll prepare for us a place. Sing <coughs> the wondrous love of Jesus, sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansion, bright and blessed, he'll prepare for us a place.
Onward to the Christ before us, soon His beauty will be born. Soon the crying is will open, we shall tread the streets of gold. And we will get to win, for the day of rejoicing that we need. For as much as it pleases Almighty God in His wise providence to take out of this world unto Himself the soul of our de deceased brother Leroy. We therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. From henceforth take the spirit that they may rest from their labors in their works to follow them. Most righteous God and everlasting Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you, God, for your kindness. We thank you for your tender mercies and your blessings. We thank you, God, for your son that you have given to us. And today, God, as he has made his transition to be with the Lord, Father God, we pray that your Holy Spirit will strengthen the family will guide them and protect them and to keep them. Father God, we pray, Father, that when we leave here today, mighty God, your spirit will be with us, oh God, and your Holy Spirit, oh God, will transition your son into your holy places. Have your own sweet way, God. Bless, guide, and protect. These we ask and say thanks, your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And so we go back to our program, and we will sing, when the chump of the Lord <clears throat> shall sound and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal bright and clear, when the slave <clears throat> of earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be here. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal bright and clear. When the same of earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll is part of yonder right in there. When the roll is part of yonder right in there. When the roll is part of yonder. When the roll is part of yonder. When the road is full of yonder, I'll be there. On that bright and cloudless morning, when the dead in fright shall rise, and the glory of his resurrection share. When his frozen ones shall gather to their home beyond the sky, and the road is full of yonder, I'll be there. When the road, when the road is full of yonder, I'll be there. When the road is 
son of Yonder, I'm in there when the road is gone up yonder. When the road is gone up yonder, I'll be there. Let us labor for the master from the dawn till setting sun. Let us suffer for this wondrous love and care. And when all of that is over and the work on earth is done, and the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the Christ and cloud that morning, when the dead in Christ shall rise, on the glory of his resurrection share. When his rose and one shall gather to their own beyond the sky, and the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the road is called up yonder, when the road is all up yonder, when the road is all up yonder, I'll be there. Let us labor for the master from the dawn to set in Let us talk of all his wonders, love and care. Then when all of life is over and the work on earth is done, and the road is all up yonder, I'll be there. When the road when the well is all of yonder, I'll be there. When the well is all of yonder, when the well is all of yonder, I'll be there. When the well is all of yonder, when the well is all of yonder, I'll be there. When the well is all of yonder. When the road is gone up yonder, I'll be there. Let us labor for the master from the dawn to setting sun. Let us talk of all his wonders, love and care. When, when all of life is over and the work on earth is done, and the road is gone up yonder, I'll be there. When the road, when the road is gone up yonder, when the well is all up yonder, I'll be there. When the well is all up yonder, when the well is all up yonder, I'll be there. Okay, we continue singing the chorus. Some sweet day I'm going away. Some sweet day. I'm going away. I'm going to leave this world. No more to roam. Some sweet day. Her life is over. Some sweet day. Some sweet day. I'm going away. Oh, some sweet day. I'm going away. I'm gonna leave this world. No more to roam. Some sweet day, when life is over. Some sweet day, I'm going away.
Jesus, 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 Jesus,
Back up, back up, come on, back up. Back up. No, 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 no. Next week. Yeah. He's alright. What them think about the Holy Ghost? He's alright. What they think about the Holy Ghost? He's alright. He's alright. 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 Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He's alright. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He's alright, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He's alright, He's alright, alright, alright. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He's alright, oh Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He's alright, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He's alright. He's alright. 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 Oh, what you think about the Holy Ghost? He's alright. What you think about the Holy Ghost? He's alright. Oh, what you think about the Holy Ghost? He's alright. He's alright. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, Lord, hallelujah. Last one. 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 Oh, goodbye, world. I say no longer with you. Goodbye, pleasures of sin. I say no longer with you. I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. Oh, goodbye, world. I stay no longer with you. Right my pleasures of sin. I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Grace be unto you and peace from our God, our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Know me the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Love of God the Father. Full fellowship of the Holy Spirit the Comforter. Rest, remain, and abide with us all. Now and forevermore. Amen. Bless, bless, bless. <laughs>